city map is displayed in the lower right. Yeah, thank you, communicator. So yeah, this yeah, I love this GTA-ish exploration. Those white dots, those small white dots, are pedestrians. Those big white dots are um. Wait for the map to come back up. The big white dots are like parked on hovers. The red, the small red dots are crimson guards, and the big red dots are the crimson are crimson guard vehicles. If you attack. And there's a thing that's kind of like a wanted level. Oh. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you can... Yeah, you'll get... You'll alert the entire guards. If you attack a guard, attack a... Um, damage a hover... A crimson guard hovercraft. Or if you kill a pedestrian. Then the alarm will sign and all the... And the guards will be all over you. And it's kind of like GTA where you just gotta stay away from them. In order to keep them off you. See, just like that. Only I didn't mean to demonstrate it. I just it was just an accident. I think I'll just show off the travel in this game in this part because I'm not at the because since I'm at the beginning of the game, the travels are just practically short. Yeah, I saw it since I was in the hovercraft. That turret's gonna shoot me down. And now I'm out of here. Let's meet this so-called Torn. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Of course it does. New faces make me nervous. Or it is you're out to join the fight for the city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the Roman Tower and bring it back to me. Then, maybe we'll talk. Alright, tough guy. Yeah, I, I like Torn's voice. So yeah, we get to do a little um banner thievery. Here's something suspicious for you. Whatever you say, Clancy Brown. I still think it's weird that you can get in trouble for attacking a guard and killing a pedestrian. Yet yeah, they don't do squat if you steal someone's hover hover. Or a zoomer, or, or if you just, or if you actually destroy one. I don't know whether to say these guys. I mean, gameplay-wise, these guys aren't as strict as the cops in GTA. But cutscene, story-wise and cutscene-wise, yeah, they're doing more um, aggressive. Like, come on, surrender and die. That's just mean. Oh yeah. Hey, come back here. Ah, oh, forget it. I was going to demonstrate me punching that thing, but it knew what I was going to do. Jack is ready to go through that door. What's up? Hey. Why must you hurt me? Yeah. Got to see out that march. It will hurt me. Oh, oh boy. Well, right. I see you. Ah, dang it. Oh. That was actually pretty cool. That was, I never even done that before. As you guys can see that little purple meter around my um, icon, if I fill it up, I can turn Dark Jack. Which was that transformation you saw me do when I was fighting those guards in the other video. Either way, let's make our way around this ruined tower. Yeah, see why I collect 50 um, little things of green eco when you can just find those little boxes. A lot more useful. Uh, none shall escape my fury spin kicks. I don't know. Oh yeah. Where things now things are gonna start to crumble around this part. Oh, oh boy. And 
there it is, the old banner itself. You know, like a good reference of the first game ruined by this. Ouch. So, are we in Torn? That's all I needed to hear. Alright, now we gotta make a little trip back to Torn's um, safe house in the slums. Now, since we're in a zoomer, let's give him a nice little um, entrance. Ow. Uh, the thing about the um, Crimson Guard things, they have like a gun. You see how they have a gun on it? If you take it, you can use the gun. Alright. Time for a little surprise entry. Woo! Ow. <laughs> Alright. What you want, Torn? Ow. Woo! Being a big hero sure makes you thirsty. <laughs> Alright, so I figured I'd just show off this area of the um, Haven City, where it's like... I guess it's like built like a port or something. I'm just sure what this area is supposed to be like, or whatever you were supposed to call it. Ah, crud. Can I make another entry? Yes. Can. Ow. Ow. Now in this meeting we get to we get to have a face to face meeting with these so called metalheads. Yep. Each time you encounter a new one, these these gems will pop out every time you take them when you take them out. Look who's back. Now let's head this way. Oh boy. Good thing I didn't fall into that water because in this area, if you fall into the water, a little, um, a little like automatic Crimson Guard turret will come out and kill you instantly. Okay, I thought it was another one. Ruh! Don't you hiss at me, buddy. Right, I'll grab some of that. One thing I kind of missed in the first game was how that roll, the roll jump in the first game actually did damage to enemies. Well, in that well, in that game's case, kill him because. Most of the enemies in the first game would die in one hit anyway.
What the? Oh, okay. I thought I had, like lost. Is like wait. I thought it was supposed to come at me. And it just they just went way high. Oh. Ow. The point of these um, gems, you'll see what the what they're for later. Don't you growl at me, buddy. Uh, yeah. As, yeah, as you see, the, the dark jack mirror is full, which I'm not going to use right now. As you see, since it's full, the um, dark eco doesn't like come through me like a magnet. I just have to collect it. Just, just slid off. Come here. That's right. Hiss at me. I dare you. Yeah, it just like this pops out like a rocket. I was enjoying this little cutscene of getting this thing to work. Despite the dark tone, you gotta love they still retain the comedy of this game. Uh...